what's good YouTube this is Darren Bissing with smartsherlock.com now in today's YouTube we're going to cover how to whitelist your email in Yahoo there's um, a series of simple steps which I'm going to go through but before I do let me just break down what whitelisting is it is the opposite of blacklisting for those of you who don't know um, it's when you're trying to receive a correspondence uh, email from a friend whomever it's a very important email and you don't want it to end up in spam or junk mail in which case you want it to always end up in inbox um, so if you follow these few s simple steps it shall help your email to always come and land into inbox so here we go in some instances when you do receive an email and the sender is like listen dude i've definitely sent you the email i've double checked the spelling on it and i've sent it through don't panic if it's not showing up in your inbox it most likely will be in your spam so what we're going to do now is i'm looking for an email test to from desi desi now this email's obviously a brand new email account i'm only doing it for tutorial purposes if you look at my mouse cursor which is highlighted orange um, in the middle of a screen um, i'm going to look for a subheading called spam once i click on that your email that the person who said definitely that they sent it to may be in this place here in my case i'm looking for the email desi desi so i'm gonna click on that where you can see a blue box ticked take my cursor and select slash press not spam there we go um, once that is done i'm going to click on inbox again and hopefully that should come into my inbox from this point onwards now to make sure um, that whoever you're receiving the email from uh, and they haven't sent it off you can always get the email address and you can whitelist it yourself so before they even fired you the email it's ready to be filtered and to be sent direct into your box now if you look here um let's just say for argument's sake i want in future i want this email address from danny noble to be always sent in my inbox uh, and never to my spam i'm going to select that make sure it's ticked blue go to these three dots here drag my cursor down and i'm looking for add sender to contacts so i'm going to click on that on the right hand side it will give you uh, a few more details to add his email and you can even give him a nickname uh, just to make it easier for your email library in yahoo add all the details even birthdays it's quite clever um on, on behalf of yahoo and then press save so let's press save now from this point onwards i should always get um, an email straight sent to my inbox from danny now in some instances if you want to get even more creative even more um making sure that your whitelist works for that particular correspondence if you drag your cursor here where it says settings click on settings and we are looking for more settings another three dots so we select there we're going to drag the cursor on the left hand side and we're looking for filters so we're going to go to filters click on filters you should have something like this once you click on add new filters it should bring you to this page where you can actually give another style of nickname um, if you don't want to go through the uh, this the second step of whitelisting you can go through this one uh, you can also select which folder it's gonna start or end in you can also select in whenever he or she sends you an email or the company sends you an email which folder it should go in and you could create your folder here and press save guys thank you so much for watching this review please leave your comments and feedback at the below at the bottom of the video if you haven't already done it make sure you subscribe to smartsherlock.com thank you for viewing and take care